Fractor is a simple program to allow you to get organized with photos and videos on your PC. As you can see, it's a little like Windows Explorer. There is an address bar at the top with a folder location in it, and on the right are the folder's contents, broken down into subfolders, photos, videos and audio. If I click on an item, it gets displayed nicely here. I can zoom in on part of a photo at 100% using this handy zoom control. And I can also play videos and audio tracks right from here. If I press F3, I can search for a different folder name to go and view quickly and easily. And I can also search for almost any attribute that my media files contain. For example, my son's name Alfie, I've got many photos tagged with his name. The reason this works is Diffractor has automatically indexed my photo and video locations and it does this the, probably the first time you run it and you will notice that the logo up here will be brightly colored that means Diffractor is doing some work behind the scenes. It doesn't normally take very long but it allows you to have all these searching features. If I select this image and click on its title or press Control enter I can bring up the images properties and edit any that I like. I can add extra tags or or a caption. I can straighten and uh, crop the image if I choose and adjust its colors. All from the simple interface. The actual straighten and coloring adjustments are only possible for photos that don't work with videos or audio items. I'll cancel that. Now if I want to tag several items I can just do that from the right click menu. I select three items, I tag them and I'll say boy and hit enter. And those photos now have all been uh, tagged with the additional keywords. If I scroll down to the bottom where I've got a few Alfie videos, you'll see that I can also select the title on this and there are a different set of properties that I can edit. That These are more aligned with what you'd want to edit for a, a video. Now you'll see there's actually some stuff um, that would cover a TV show or a film, but it still works for your own videos. One very useful feature of Diffractor is its handling of locations. If I sort this folder by location, you will see that the photos have been broken down into to various locations where they were taken. Australia, Czech Republic, some other cities, United Kingdom. Now, the reason it, the Fractors have been able to do that is because some of these photos contain GPS in coordinates already. They were probably taken with my iPhone or I've added position information to them. And the Fractor has picked that up. Now, if I select this image, that you'll see here that the Fractor is very good at pointing out when things need to have additional metadata added. So these, this is the first unlocated photo. And I can locate it, uh, or I can locate one or more photos by right-clicking and selecting locate, you can't probably quite see that top of that, and then I can type in a location. So as it says there, yes, this photo was taken in Prague, and if I click enter, that fo photo now has a location. And you can see that I can actually drill down on these locations, so if I want to see other photos taken in Prague, there we go, just a quick search, and you'll see that the, uh, the address bar tells you where I am. And the factor actually contains a a database of most uh, towns and cities worldwide and you can just very quickly add a general location uh, to your photos. It's a great first step uh, to getting organized. One useful thing to know about in Diffractor is the overview screen which I can either click the home button or uh, F4 and in the screen it kind of gives me an overview of all the folders and photos, media items that Diffractor has detected on your machine. And you can see there's some folders here that are commonly used. And here is sort of a breakdown of my library by various various aspects. And then here are lists of things that are missing metadata and that when you've got some spare time you can go in and add it. Uh, so if we have a look here, there's a breakdown by uh, artists. So you can see all the different either photographers or my music collection. It's got a lot of music uh, items that have been indexed here. Uh, if I go back, you can see, if I go, if I drill down on years, this will actually give me a, a breakdown by year. 
and you can see quite nicely photos that are taken at different stages. Now if I drill down onto one of these folders I can quickly navigate between the years. So this is currently, if I stop sorting by location, uh, this is currently October 2012 and I can use these handy uh, back and forth arrows to go to the next month. So there's November and there's December. In fact these left and right arrows are very useful. You can use them almost anywhere. They, they're kind of context aware. So if I go to the containing location of this item and see that it's in a folder I've got for a particular a particular day, I can navigate back and forth between the folders at this level. And if I was to go up a folder, you would see I can go between 2011, 2010, very quickly without sort of navigating around. Thanks for watching this video about Diffractor. Uh, please download it and give it a try. If you find you really like it, please consider becoming a sponsor. Uh, all the people who work on Diffractor are volunteers, and it really helps a lot to get a little bit of your support. Thank you very much.